Well, congrats. They're in order for the Wofford Terriers. They earned the number seven seed in the NCAA tournament. That's right. And they're set to take on Seton Hall later this week. Fox Carolina's Isaac Williams is live at Wofford this morning with more. Hey, Isaac. Good morning, guys. And yeah, it's a chilly morning out here, but the Wofford team carrying their hot streak into the postseason now. They, of course, beat UNCG uh, in the championship game, completing their undefeated run uh, in the SOCON. And this is the highest seed Wofford has ever gotten heading into the tournament. <laughs> Yeah, so a lot of excitement, a lot of cheers for the team, of course. Uh, they are going to be uh, taking on Seton Hall. They're a 10 seed. Now, Seton Hall actually uh, upset a couple of uh, teams in the Big East Championship game, uh, knocking off second-seeded Marquette and then falling just short of beating the uh, Villanova Wildcats, uh, a, a postseason tournament mainstay, uh, falling 74-72. to 72. But, of course, uh, Wofford College, uh, they know that Seton Hall is pretty good. Here's more from head coach Mike Young. I don't know how to feel. I know Seton Hall's really good. I don't know anything about them. Um, I know Coach Willard is a terrific coach. Uh, I know they've got a young man that scores a lot. I'm sure they're tough. I'm sure they're very well schooled, and uh, it'll be uh, you know a difficult game. Yeah, so Wofford uh, taking on Seton Hall. That's coming up this Thursday after the first four play-in games starting tomorrow. Uh, but the uh, seed is set there for Thursday at 940. The winner of that game likely to pay, play number two seed Kentucky. Uh, so that's something that uh, they will could possibly look forward to as well. But, of course, we're going to have more coverage uh, coming up through the week, including next hour we'll hear from some of the Wofford College players. Guys, back to you.